my name is Susan Ng, and our company is Real Time Tomography. We launched the uh, Adara GPU, which is an image processing and enhancement software for mammography. And the Adara GPU runs on a GPU card, the NVIDIA GPU card, which is now 10 times faster than our CPU based version. Um, should, should show the, yeah. Now, last year we brought out the first product, which was Adara, and we ran it on the CPU. Image processing, when you process it, when you capture an image, is unprocessed. And when, when you present it to the radiologist, it has to be in presentation. And what we've done is we process the image so that they have high contrast and uh, good conspicuity. This is an image that we process. It takes approximately 10 seconds to process. By putting our Adara algorithms onto the GPU, we are able to substantially increase the speed of image processing. And this is the GPU version. And as I press this, uh, do, do the processing, it's actually 10 times faster. The difference is 1.5 seconds to 10 seconds. The advantages of doing that, obviously, are for increasing the speed of processing during clinical, uh, for the clinical workflow. When a woman is under compression and you're doing biopsies, you definitely want to reduce the amount of time that she's under compression. By reducing by 10 times, she it's, it's increases her patient comfort. Also, for a radiologist, they are able to see the images readily and quickly so that they can make the diagnosis. And this whole effort is to put everything onto the GPU to improve accuracy and clinical workflow and increase patient um, comfort as well. I'll show the 3D now. Now this is the Adara GPU. And we also have a works in progress for digital breast synthesis. Uh, digital breast home synthesis is a 3D imaging modality that has uh, had approval outside the U.S. Um, there is pending approval for uh, the logic system for digital breast home synthesis. What digital breast home synthesis allows you to do is, is look at a 3D image of the breast. Um, with 2D mammography, the problem is you have overlapping tissue which can obscure cancers or cause false positives. Um, in this particular example, is a 3D image of the breast. There's a, a volume that shows where we're reconstructing. This is the 3D image, and we're reconstructing it from 2D projections that are acquired. These are the 2D projections that are acquired over an angular range. And there's 15 projections in this particular case. And then we reconstruct it in real time and on demand to a 3D image. And this allows the radiologist or the technologist to see the image right away so there's no image delay. And to also use the dynamic features that we supply. Uh, for instance, the convention is one millimeter slices. We can change the slice spacing to uh, like 0.1 millimeter so that for more finer detail of review of the images. We can also change the, uh, the, the filtering dynamically. So if you like a softer presentation or a more contrast presentation of the images. Not only that, uh, total synthesis, and this going back a little bit, these are 2D projections. This is the, so it's similar to a mammal. But if you go to 3D, it's very obvious that you can see the speculated mass, which is not obvious in the 2D. Um, the other advantages of our reconstruction and putting on the GPU is that we are allowed additional 3D fe uh, diagnostic features that allow the radiologist to really see inside the breast. For instance, in this particular example, what I like to show is uh, a calcified vessel that goes from the chest wall to the uh, skin line. What we allow the radiologist to do is to angle the reconstruction. So what we're actually doing is doing an angled reconstruction. 
so that they can fold this calcified vessel from the chest wall all the way to the skin line. This allows the radiologist to be really see inside the breast, uh, particularly if there is an area of pathology that's difficult to see or it's out of plane and you want to see the pathology in the plane uh, that, that is, gives the most diagnostic value. Uh, in addition, we are allowed, uh, we have to do a super resolution. Our, re our image quality is actually higher during magnification than other reconstruction solutions because we reconstruct for region of interest for the full resolution of the screen. So we don't just take a fixed image and this increase it. But if you see these calcifications, I'm going to increase the size of it to about three times the uh, nominal value, or 300%. You can still see the actual calcifications within the breast. This really allows the radiologist to see the details of the morphology of the breast compared to just using a captured image and just magnifying because really you lose image quality and detail. Um, we also provide the ability to filter out artifacts that are not in plain focus. It's in this particular case, these are surgical clips that come from the projections. These are the projections. And then when you go to the 3Ds, you see them. So we are able to filter those out to really allow the radiologist to see things that are not in the plane of focus and really make a, a good diagnosis.